Hi friends, hope you are doing fine. Today I thought of doing a fun video with you all and I'm going to show you how to make a terrarium. For all those who have been watching me over the months, thanks for all your love. And for those who are visiting or watching this video for the first time, I'm Swapna and welcome to my channel Swap to Green. So what's a terrarium? It's a fancy word for a little indoor garden in a glass container. You can turn any glass container and some potting mix and plants into a lovely miniature garden. Basically, there are two types of terrariums, closed and open. Closed terrariums are ideal for plants that love warm and humid conditions like ferns, moss and air plants. An open terrarium is more suitable for plants that require a drier condition and is more robust like succulents and they can be placed in a sunnier position in the house. Now, let's look at the things needed for a terrarium, a glass container with or without a top or even a fish bowl, activated charcoal which is available at a nursery or pet store, sterile potting mix, gravel, sea glass beach stones, sheet moss which is optional, decorative elements, I've used some seashells and pine cones as well and of course, plants. see how to assemble it. Take the glass container. Add a quarter inch or half inch layer of activated charcoal. Charcoal absorbs chemicals in the soil, water and air that can build up inside your terrarium over time and damage your plants. If you're making a closed terrarium, make sure to put a layer of sheet moss at the bottom. This is the drainage layer that soaks up the extra water. Or start with two inches of stones. Today let's make an open one. You can see that I've started putting in small pebbles here and this is my next layer. Now you can add your potting mix and make it a few inches thick. It's easy peasy if you have tiny hands like mine but if you're struggling do use a spoon and small container and that will make the process much quicker. Now, choose your plant and shake off any excess soil. You can see that I am using a paintbrush here. Let's look at some plants that you can use in a terrarium. Starfish flower cactus, friendship plant, nerve plant, baby tear plants, succulents, air plants, small begonias, peperomias, to name a few. And I'll also leave the names of some more plants in the description. You can place the plants inside one by one and pat the soil around. Before we finish making this beauty, let me also give you some tips on how to maintain it. It's simple. Every few weeks, add a little water. If it's a closed terrarium, air it once a month. The insides might condensate, so wait for it to disappear. Prone the plant and remove yellowing leaves if any. And that's it! You can see that it's slowly taking shape and you can go crazy and creative with your own ideas. Once you are done with all the plants, you can start decorating with shells, decorative stones and small figurines. How lovely it would look with all these decorations! Indoor gardening and terrariums are trending at the moment. They not only make excellent gifts, it's a creative exercise as well. They are inexpensive to make and are universally loved. You can see that I'm trying to put small pebbles and shells in every nook and corner of the terrarium and a long painting brush would be quite handy to use. The 
beauty about terrariums is that you can go really creative. You can use pickle jar, jam jars from your kitchen. You can collect moss from your garden. While going for walks, you can also keep an eye on decorative rocks or pebbles that you can use in your own terrarium. I had these shells and decorative pebbles from my previous project and I collected the succulents from my garden. Air plants give a great look to terrariums and I'm gonna give it a try too. The easiest way to water a terrarium would be to use a syringe as you don't want to overwater them. Overwatering can cause flooding and rotting of plants. Larger terrariums can handle house plants that are somewhat bigger than miniature plants but avoid fast growing species or those that develop large leaves that will block light from smaller plants. When considering terrarium plants, look for plants that thrive in low to medium light. Get a mix of sizes, leaf textures and leaf colors. Select plants that won't mind the naturally humid environment of a terrarium. You'll notice that in today's project, I've used succulents as these plants work best for fully open or partially open containers. Avoid cactus and succulents for an enclosed terrarium. So that's almost done, but if you want to make them look even cuter, you can add some tiny figurines into your terrarium. If you would like more ideas on how to make terrariums, I would suggest Pinterest or just Google them online. Your terrarium is ready. So there, you have learned how to make an exciting artifact that will add to the interior elegance of your home. today's video friends please leave your comments and let me know whether you would like me to do more DIY stuff and until we meet again it's bye from me Swapna. Meanwhile think green, act green, swap to green.